They are such a problem. They're estimated to have done about a million dollars in damage on Maui alone. It's not fires, it's not crashes. We're talking deer. And SKIT, of course, Laurie Amata shows us Maui County's deadly solution to a very pricey nuisance could be on the verge of creating a whole new industry. In the 1800s, Axis deer were introduced to the islands as a gift from China to King Kamehameha V. But in recent years, growing communities and hunting restrictions have turned that gift into a nightmare. Now there's a budding movement to turn that problem into profits. Oh, there's one right there, right there. Good picture, good picture. Their eyes glinting in the green light. A drive around Wailea on Maui reveals its stealth residents, temporarily shrouded by kiave trees. Pretty to look at, but... It's an epidemic. It, it really is. But come out, they will. I wish I had a gun. One tourist caught an entire herd crossing the road in broad daylight. And cars and deer don't mix. Check out the damage. Wailea Resort recording 19 collisions last year. This one dying on the road. Another dying in a park. And this one dashing through a hotel lobby out to sea, swimmers escorting him to shore before he passed out on the beach. There's an open field that we hunt right above. Mike Tavares heads up the Maui Axis Deer Harvesting Co-op, all volunteer hunters who know well the damage done by Axis Deer. So right there is the start of the cabbage and that's their favorite part. This cabbage field nibbled and contaminated. If they're walking through munching on the edges, they're urinating and... And that's it, the crop's gone. The crop's gone. And not just cabbage, cane fields, grape vines, pineapple crops, deer busting through walls and destroying golf courses. You can see why they're trying to protect this area because there are valuable crops all around here. But every night, hundreds and hundreds of deer coming in, damaging these crops. But you take a look around, there are also houses in every direction, making safety a challenge. I'm trying to bridge the gap between hunting and landowners again. That means strict hunting rules and promising zero waste. If you notice, each one of them is different. Hunting partner and budding jewelry maker Dale Littlefield says he and his wife are about to start marketing their wares, all handmade. This right here is like the tip of the horns. All made out of Axis deer. When you do something like that and you take an animal like that, it's, you know, you want to try to use every bit of it. Maui style is to have five braids of five strands. And Gretchen Cardoso makes saddles, chaps, and scarf slides in an effort to waste not. I think it would be more positive to look at a problem as a potential resource. Including on the dinner table. I smoke it and process the, the meat myself. I mean, it goes like wildfire. If I have stuff like this, people constantly want it. We caught up with Chef Kyle Kawakami at a streetery food truck in Kahului, creating masterpieces and promising to add deer meat to his menu. No, I'm super excited to start working with it, and you know I'm hoping that uh, it gets into the market soon. People tend to steer away from venison or are a little bit of afraid of venison. The next day at Kumu Farms, he shows us a twist on a Hawaii favorite. This time using Axis deer meat. And here's our local Maui venison. Bon mi sandwich. And there's movement outside the kitchen too. In October, UH Maui College's Phyllis Robinson at the Kahala Center rounded up hunters, ranchers, and experts for the first ever deer symposium to find common ground on population control and the potential for a venison industry. The purpose of the event was to get people in the room beginning to talk about whether or not this industry makes sense. There's also a new course next year to train ranchers on making management plans. I think that there's a, a, a feeling that we do have to do something about it. I've heard from upcountry residents who have told me all our freezers are full already and yet we're still seeing so many deer. The county's Access Deer Working Group is trying to get a grip on the problem. Within a month they plan to have a more accurate count of deer in Maui County. Right now numbers range from 10,000 to 60,000. They're creating different management plans for different sectors, near hotels, near houses or on ranches. And in the next few months, there'll be mail-out surveys and public sessions asking the public what they want. We really cannot let this go any longer without addressing it uh, with everything we have. A community committed to a problem that's not going away. We're all here to try to help the county of Maui. Um, that's what we're here for. You know, we, we want to see it work. Larry Amata, KITV4 News.